Hello and welcome. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the attendance portion of Aries. First thing you need to do is uh, go ahead and log in. Teach your uh, username and password. Press log in. We come up to our first screen here for Eagle High School. This is the demo uh, screen. We have home, attendance, grades, student info, and resources. We're going to look at attendance here. Take attendance. I look at period number one. They've got six periods. Uh, total. Now these are in black. That means the attendance has already been taken. If they were in red, that means you still have to take the attendance. So we're going to look at period one here. This is the attendance roster. We have 34 students in this particular period. Uh, we have a student number, name, grade level, ethnic code. Now if you want to know what these ethnic codes mean, you just click on ethnic code here and we get a list of all of those codes. Same with the home language. If they have a home language that's different from English, we can go ahead and go over here and see what that home language is. Uh, now for the attendance, we have an A for absent, P for present, and T for tardy. Now our screens will also show a Q for a tardy greater than 30 minutes. Now if everyone's here, we don't have to do anything except just submit the attendance. But if we do have an absence, we can go ahead and click on that particular student and that absence and then submit that attendance and you can see that that absent, uh, this column here, this yellow column, is for today's date when it's in yellow. And now we have an A marked for that student. Now if that student was to come in and the uh, later, and if he had an excuse, uh, we could uh, change this to P, go ahead and submit the, resubmit the attendance, and now that goes away. But if they came in late and they didn't have an excuse, we could change that to a T for tardy. Now here's a little history of his absences and tardies. Now the absences should change to an E if he brings a note in from home and the office uh, will go ahead and clear those absences. Now if you want to get a summary on Victor Ashley, we can select his student number and we'll see a little summary up here from 831 to 921, 22. This will show uh, each period uh, for uh, several weeks here. Also we have down here uh, A, the unverified absences, illnesses, and tardies, and we can see how he's doing for his different periods. Uh, this could be helpful. Now also we could take attendance by photo. Uh, we have a photo option here for period one, and uh, we're in the free form right now, and we can go to the seating chart and switch back to table view for period number one. And we can see here's a table view of the students. And if we want to take Ashley Victor and move him up into position number one here, all we need to do is put a one here, resubmit that change, and you'll notice he immediately moves. And if we look at the uh, photo for number one here, we can see that Ashley Victor moved up into seat number one here for row A. Now we also have a nice feature here for the seating. We can go to a switch for free form. Now most of our classrooms are not in the standard layout. So if we switch to free form here, we can go ahead and take our students and move them anywhere we want. And we can get them into a seating arrangement that fits our classroom. And all we need to do is once we've moved them around, we can submit the change. And now they're, they're in that. Now, you have a list of all your students here, so we can continue to take students and move them to their positions and uh, continue to do that until we've got all our students uh, listed here. And then go ahead and submit those changes. Now, also, we have reports. Uh, we have a weekly attendance report. Normally, the office will print these out for us, put them in our box, and we just need to sign them. There's a daily attendance summary report, and a nice feature is this class address labels. Uh, we can select and print labels for any of our periods, and we have a complete list of, of the students and, by, and the parents and their addresses. We can take the standard uh, Avery sheet of labels, stick them in our printer, and we can print out as many labels as we need. That's a nice feature. Um, also, class rosters. We could create a class roster of each of our periods. And here we have a class roster with student number, name, grade level, and phone number. This can be very helpful. Now, this is all the features uh, for the uh, attendance. Uh, thank you very much for your time.